Hey everyone, it's Alan from scootersales.com.au. I'm here with Ralph from Mojo Motorcycles. How are you going, Ralph? Very well. Very, yeah. very well. Yep. Nice shirt change too, I might add. A Superman. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> now, we've just come across from TGB and we're into another brand that you actually import and distribute yeah. and, and look after, and that is uh, Saks. Saks. Sax is our friend. Yep. Now, it's been such a phenomenal brand in terms of, you know, its success story in Australia, yeah? I was hoping you wouldn't get to that because okay. I'm, I'm actually embarrassed by how good the yep. Amici, particularly in the Amici, it's, it's gone yep. right number two in Australia, almost top of the list, and it's easy to explain why. Okay. Mm. So we're here looking at the Amici specifically. Mm. Tell us a few reasons why this scooter is going to be so successful, and it is going to be successful. Yeah, no question. Uh, 125. Yep. Sub $3,000. Good colour range, five colours. Build quality. And it's, it, it is actually just appealing to the right market at the moment. So if you, if you review, uh, review the, the size, price, and quality, that's what the market's looking for. And it's a scooter for that market. Maybe not for everyone, but certainly in percentage terms, a lot of people want that sort of scooter. Yeah. Now, I've had one for a couple of weeks. Yes. I've been more than impressed. I, I reviewed it myself, you know. I, I, you know, had to come away and sort of think about, you know, how good it was for the price. Yes. But I've got to say, every person I ran into and wherever I parked it, yeah. you know, it, it's, it's got a look about it. Yeah? Yeah. I, you know, the colours are fresh. Yep. But everyone's seen a red and everyone's seen a white yep. scooter and a black one. But they're vibrant, they're yep. nice and bright, the paintwork's high quality. Yep. It, I've, I think they've just managed to, to get the right size, which is small enough for a, a good cross-section of people, uh, and the right look. It's, it's retro enough without being a bit over the top. And, you know, well backed up with, with from our point of view, we've got good dealers everywhere yep. that can, can back up the product. Yeah, fantastic. Mm. And the price. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So for around three grand, you're riding it away. Yeah, with, with top box and rack available. Yeah, and yeah. It's, it's, that, it's that true sub-quality $3,000 scooter in this market. Okay. So just go back over some of the features again. Uh, we'll start at the front quickly and just work our way back. We've got uh, the cantilever type uh, classic suspension set up, it's which, is, which is classic, isn't it? It is, yeah, it's undeniably. It's, it's a good look. It actually works quite well, or yep. you'd have experienced it. Yeah, yeah. And it works quite well over bumps. Working back, a clean look, uh, easy to repair, easy to manage. One of the features I like about it is the fuel tank's low. It's yeah. bit, you've probably filled up yours a couple of times. Yep. And what it does is having a, a nice low fuel tank is you don't have the filler cap under the seat, so it keeps the fumes away. It yep. uh, means you can put your chocolate and broccoli under the seat. Yep. No effect from that. Good underseat score storage, chrome work looks nice, grips, yep. working back, seats comfortable, plenty of room for two people. The pull out, pull out pillion pegs. Yeah, yeah, good, they good are a rest. nice feature. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a good little yep. feature. Yep. It keeps the scooters yep. slim for uh, the smaller build people. Yeah. But also, there's enough room to stretch out if you're over six yeah. foot. And lastly, probably just that rear chrome tail light that, yeah. that you can die for really. It you sets know, it off. It's good. And also LED. It does yeah. have a good presence in traffic that for some people, something to consider when you do look at scooters is look how they look on the road, particularly from the front with their headlight. Yep. Is, it, is it pronounced? And particularly on the back in traffic, a nice big tail light that's bright. A really bright tail light's important. Okay. Well that's the Saxamichi 125. Mm. Would you be bold enough to say that this could be the number one scooter in Australia this year? No. <laughs> no, no. I, the the answer is, I hope so, and I believe it can be. Yep. It, and I, the other thing is, we all have to know what's coming into the market, yep. and I don't know what's coming from in six months' time. Yep. So the answer is, it, it, it's hit the ground running, and we believe it can be for all the reasons stated before. Yep. Okay. Well, that's the Saxamichi One Two Five. Mm. Regardless, it's going to be a winner. You know, it's got every, it ticks all the boxes, you know. Mm. So uh, thanks once again for joining us today, Ralph. Thank you, Alan. Okay, Pleasure. we'll see you next time on scootersales.com.au.